What's up everyone? So today I'm going to go over a product called Winderstat. It's a free tool. It's a great tool for finding out what files are taking up all the space on your hard drive. Uh, so if you get that notification that says your, your disk is almost full, this is a great tool. So my C drive, as you can tell, is pretty full. Um, it's an SSD, but it's pretty small. So I'm going to choose to scan just the C drive. All right, so once you hit OK, you're going to see a, another screen pop up, and it's going to show a little Pac-Man's going back and forth. And what that's doing is it's showing you the, the directories that it's scanning. I'm using, one, I'm using version 1.1.2.80, which is the newest version. All right, so depending on the disk size, how full your drive is, and how cluttered the drive is, will depend on how long this takes. Mine took about two minutes. Um, so if you look at the results, the top part is going to show you the file structure. The bottom part is going to show you in block format how much disk space is actually being used by which files. So if you click on the bigger files, they're going to show you which file that is. See, mine is a what appears to be a temp file. So I'm going to find out it's Photoshop or Premiere Pro, one or the other. Um, that's a Photoshop temp file. So that that gives you a real quick representation of the files that are taking up space, and you can actually delete them straight from here, like I just did. Right click on the uh, the file, you can choose to send it to the recycle bin or delete permanently. Be careful deleting permanently. This this program is going to show you everything, even the critical files. So just be 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 leery before you delete something. You may not be able to get it back, and you can really screw stuff up. But if it's just a temp file, you can delete those. If it's pictures, you should be fine as well. Um, pictures, videos, I mean, you'll be able to see those and be able to tell whether or not you want to get rid of them or not. All right, so let's say you have a certain file extension, like all temp files or something like that, like all DLLs or all JPEGs. If you click on the far right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a box that's had, that says extension, It'll show the color that represents that extension, the description of the extension, and then how many total bytes used, the percent of the disk those bytes take up, and the amount of files that are those. So, for instance, for me, I have DLLs, JPEGs, temp files, things like that. If I click on the file type, it will actually change and highlight the boxes underneath and it will show every box that it highlights has that file extension so let's click on the dot sys files for instance you see at the bottom you'll see a bunch of the little dots the little blocks toward the bottom left hand corner that are all highlighted so those are, those are the dot sys files for instance so if you click on the dot temps you'll see I didn't do it on mine but you'll see the bigger blocks usually get highlighted if your temp files are the ones that are full so I think what makes Windows Stat such a good program is its ability to be a one-stop shop, for instance. You can delete, you can find the files that are taking up all the space. You can delete them straight from there. It's free. That's always a plus. And it's super easy to use. So this is my first video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you want to see more tech videos or more reviews from me, please comment below. Please also subscribe if I've earned it. And click the bell, something new YouTube is doing. If you subscribe to a channel, you don't automatically get to see their new stuff. You won't be notified, at least. If you click the bell, however, you will be notified every time I upload a video. And that's great for me. And if you enjoy my content, it's also great for you. So if you do enjoy this, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Please come back. And, and if you want me to... If you want me to record, if you want me to do a tutorial video on something else, I would appreciate you just suggesting it in the comment box. That always that always makes it easy, and um, I'll do my best to accommodate you guys' requests. Thanks, and have a blessed day.